one of the great things that we saw with our president, uh, Barack Obama, was his My Brother's Keeper initiative. Uh, and uh, many of us know what that meant for uh, many residents in our minority communities and making sure that folks understood that government could not do it all. It required people in the community stepping up and answering the call, saying that they would make a difference, saying that it was a priority to ensure that we address the achievement and opportunity gap and that we gave people uh, the supports necessary so that they could be successful. And Ludley Howard, the founder, with his 25 years of experience in working with children and adolescents, has done just that. Thank you very much, Council Mayor, for being here. <laughs> I, I, I love that term. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. But one of the, one of the great organizations uh, that I became very intimately familiar with, uh, AMEN, uh, which does a great job in working with at-risk uh, African-American males, um, one of the things that we continue in our media to see portrayed in a negative spotlight, and it needs to be addressed that there are great young men out there that are black, that are doing great things and achieving great success. Every black man does not have his pants hanging by his ankles, and even if he does, that doesn't mean that he's a bad kid. But yet, that's what we see in the media and portrayed. And I believe it's my responsibility as a council member, as a young black man who grew up in this region, to make sure I stand up for them. And that's why I wanted to honor an organization and people who stand up and believe the exact same thing. There is no bad kid. There are kids who happen to sometimes make bad decisions. We owe it to every single one of them to be successful, and that is what Pride Youth Services stands for. Their program with the Distinguished Gentleman Program, the Affirm that works with young women and empowering them to make positive choices, not only about dating relationships, but about their body, about their success, about their empowerment, divine divas, all kinds of things that, again, have the powerful words that make sure that people believe in themselves in a time in which we're seeing in the spotlight a negative portrayal. So I just want to thank you, Ludley, and your staff, and your lovely wife for giving of you to be able to do these things that are so important. Pride Youth Services is at three of our high school wellness centers. They're also doing affordable care outreach to the community. They're partnering with our Crossroads Youth Opportunity Center. They are answering the call of the president, truly being one of my brother's keepers. And for that, we want to applaud you and say thank you. So I apologize for the long tirade, if you will, but I think that, again, it's important these days to make sure that that is heard. So the proclamation says, whereas Pride Youth Services is a nonprofit organization well established in Montgomery County since 2001, with the mission of empowering African American youth between ages 14 to 21 to make healthy and positive life choices as they deal with daily challenges, and whereas Pride Youth Services for the past 15 years has helped hundreds of young adults and their families by providing social, emotional, and physical resources and strategies to safely interact with their peers, establishing positive adult role models and promote leadership development within their schools and communities, and whereas? Pride Youth Services offers a wide range of programs, including Adolescents Male Empowerment Network, AMEN, for male at-risk youth who have engaged in illegal activities or substance abuse, the Distinguished Gentleman Program to help develop leadership skills and teamwork, the Adolescent Female Forum to Inspire, Respect, and Motivate, Affirm, program helping young women achieve academic su success and empowerment, and the Divine Divas program that provides leadership opportunities and opportunities for community service to young ladies and whereas. Additionally, Pride Youth Services, Inc. provides services at three of Montgomery County's high school wellness centers, outreach to more than 3,500 African American County residents, helping them gain, gain access to the Affordable Care Act, connector entity uh, program 
and is a partner organization with Crossroads Youth Opportunity Center offering gang prevention and intervention services. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, recognizes Pride Youth Services, Inc. for their 15 years of providing African-American youth opportunities and resources to make empowering choices as they confront life's challenges presented this 29th day of November in the year 2016, and it's signed by our council president, Nancy Florine. Ludley, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. I just want to briefly want to thank Craig Rice, council member Craig Rice, as well as the Montgomery County Council for this acknowledgement. Um, I'm very humbled, but Pride Youth Services wouldn't be able to do the great work that we do today without our dedicated board of directors, as well as our outstanding staff as well as my wife with her unyielding support. Um, it's been a, pre a, pre a pleasure as well as a privilege to serve the um, residents of Montgomery County, particularly within our African-American communities. Um, we do not take our role lightly, because um, once again, we believe that everybody deserves the best care. And we just want to thank you for your support. I want to thank all of our various partners throughout the years who worked arm in arm with us to reach out to our young people. And once again, I'm just very honored and grateful to be here today. Thank you.